Oh my gosh. Yes. Finally. Finally it arrived. I am so excited. Hello friends, it is Joshua, the geocaching vlogger. If you don't know who I am, I have been making YouTube videos on geocaching for over nine years. And today is an awesome day because today in the mail, I got something very, very special. This summer, I was contacted by a man in the area that had a little free library that was a Doctor Who walk-in TARDIS. He had heard about geocaching. He contacted me and said, Josh, are you able to hide a geocache in my TARDIS? And my answer was, of course, yes. Geocachers love Doctor Who. And I thought I could just put like a simple ammo can there and just call it done. But I thought, you know what? A Doctor Who TARDIS deserves an amazing cache. So I contacted my friend, Bounce Bounce, who is known to create amazing smart caches and he created something to put in this Doctor Who TARDIS and it came in the mail <laughs> today. All right, so I am out here. I am at the TARDIS. I'm at the location where I'm going to install the smart cache. I'm super excited. This is my very first smart cache ever and I'm excited to show you how it works. Let's go inside the TARDIS and let's see if it's actually bigger inside. All right, we're going inside. Here we are. Is it bigger inside? Actually, actually, no, it's it's not. There's a lot of books in here. Look, oh, what is that? <laughs> that is the geocache. Now, I'm not gonna take any credit for this. This geocache was created by Bounce Bounce. Bounce Bounce is an incredible geocaching builder. And he helped me build this and I installed it. Clearly, this is the geocache. Here it is. There's a padlock to protect it. Padlock is open. Let's see what we have here. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! What do we have here? We have switches with numbers on them. We have a button that says hold down. We have a little door that says do not force open. And we have something that says all together now. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna press the button and see what happens. Here we go. What happens? <laughs> yes! If I close the door, do I, do I travel through time? What does it mean? What does it mean? What do I do? All right, I've counted all the numbers. I have the switches. And now I have to flip all the switches at the same time. This is going to take a little dexterity. Because I want you to come here and find this cache, I'm not going to show you what switches I'm flipping. <laughs> Moment of truth. <laughs> yes! Yes! I did it. Let's watch it again, close up. Yes. <laughs> you guys, I did it. What do you think of my first smart cache? It's so cool. Thank you, Bounce Bounce. One of the best geocache creators in the world helped me make this. Thank you so much. What a cool geocache here in Minnesota for so many people to enjoy. Isn't that cool? What a great place for a great cache. And the reason it's so great is because the homeowner, the owner of the TARDIS, and this place made it possible. And if, see if I could find him, if he's anywhere around here, I don't know. Hey, oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi, oh, oh my gosh, hey. it's the doctor. What's going on? It's the doctor. Hey, you like my time machine? Andy is the owner of the TARDIS. Thank you so much for allowing this to happen. Sure. Well, so you like my, you know, TARDIS bigger on the inside. Yeah. Um, don't I, mind the UFO back here. Oh, I had, yeah. I had a, crash earlier. Yeah, there was an incident. There but, was a UFO um, crash. You, yeah. Are you interested in seeing another time machine? Because I've got two. Wait, you have another, you have another TARDIS or what? Uh, have... It kind of travels like in time, not oh. so much in space. Oh. Come on over and check it out. What? I'm still not sure what you're... So, um, yeah, I've got a time machine sitting over there. Oh, really? What? Just, uh, come really? check it out. Okay, what? What? <gasps> what? <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! You know, the TARDIS is kind of hard to move around yes. sometimes because it's a library and it stays right. still, but I can drive this baby up to 88 miles per hour and you're going to see some serious stuff. Yes, that's true. There it is. What? <laughs> so you are the owner of am, this time machine. I am the owner. Go to rentdelorean.com. Yes, that's it. We rent DeLoreans all over yes. the country, all over the world to... Uh, we can get a time machine there yesterday. His information about Rent DeLorean and also the library has a Facebook page. Yes, the it's, Farmington page. Yeah, it's all gonna be in the description here. So make sure you check it out, make sure you like it. It's been an awesome, awesome day, an awesome geocache. And so, well, 
I'll see you guys in the future. What an awesome geocache. All right, now don't stop. Go over here, watch another video, and we'll see you over there. I'm not sure it's gonna be as epic as the flux capacitor, but.